Back NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm on ESPN at 8 Eastern. The Lakers and Cavs. Then at 10.30, Rockets take on the Blazers. Our coverage tips with NBA Countdown. That's charged by Dew, just like Skip Bayless at 7. It will get ugly because they will get sliced and diced. Back cuts, layups. It's going to be a clinic put on tomorrow night by the Golden State Warriors. So, so, so what's your score? 124 to 103. That's what I got. 124 skip, to 103. Skip, 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 so you're saying that I, I want to make sure I'm clear. Yes, you're saying you got that Russell Westbrook will get embarrassed. Yes. Russell Westbrook. Yes. And Kevin Durant. And Kevin They're Durant. They're going to get embarrassed. Yes, embarrassed. Skip Bayless, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? This might be worse than ca on the Cowboys. If the Golden State Warriors embarrass Oklahoma City tomorrow, I will wear an Andrew Bogut jersey. Andrew Bogut? Bogut jersey. I miss having that crowd. Well, the Warriors took down the Thunder, winning 116 to 108. Not exactly a blowout. The last time the Warriors lost at home in the regular season was January 27, 2015. And the streak continues. Stephen A., what did you learn from these two teams on Saturday? <clears throat> I learned that it will be very, very difficult for the Oklahoma City Thunder to beat the Golden State Warriors in a seven-game series. Kevin Durant drops 40 in 14. <laughs> He was absolutely spectacular for most of the game. But he missed two key three-pointers when he counted. Russell Westbrook was rattled pretty much most of the game because he got into early foul trouble. Still finished with 27 and 12, but they were minus five when he was on the floor. The Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry had a relatively pedestrian game. Hit 10 of 26 from the field, one of nine from three-point range. Clay Thompson was three of, 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 I'm sorry, he was one of six. That's two of 15 from three-point range for the Golden State Warriors, the Splash Brothers, and they still won. They moved the basketball. They spread the floor. They trust one another. And more importantly, they don't exhaust themselves while doing so because Steve Kerr literally goes 10 deep. The Oklahoma City Thunder... Everything skip. They work too hard. Russell Westbrook has to work too hard to score. Kevin Durant has to work too hard to score. I understand he dropped 40. I'm seeing him half the time dribbling the ball himself, crossing over, pulling up. There's a defender in his face. He scores, but Golden State comes back down, and their three is wide open. I see stuff like that, and then I say to myself, Come May, Oklahoma City is not going to have enough left in the gas tank to beat Golden State because Golden State's margin of victory is significantly greater. Their guys are getting more rest. They're not having to exert themselves in the fourth quarter of other games throughout the regular season. They're going to be fresher, plus they're deeper because their bench is more reliable than Oklahoma City's. Seeing it up in person. It's going to take a Herculean effort from Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant to pull this off. Uh, they got to get Serge Ibaka more involved. There's no question about that because he wasn't. I just look at it that way and I just say they're not deep enough. They're not focused enough. They're not disciplined enough to beat Golden State in a seven-game series. Do you realize how close you came to having to wear an Andrew Bogut number 12 jersey on this show? on national TV? Nope. Do you realize nope. that Oklahoma City jumped to a <laughs> nine to nothing lead and that with four minutes left in I the second there. quarter, Golden State was up 20, up 20. How many nights will these Splash Brothers turn into the Crash Brothers? How many nights will you see both Steph and Clay combined to go two for 15 from three? You know and I know that as they call it, Roracle Arena's noise level, it goes as Steph's three-pointers go. And again and again, Steph took his own crowd out of the game in the second half when he missed three after three after three. If they hit their usual, even if they make, say, four more threes, I, I think it would have been defined and qualified as embarrassment for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It was a layup drill in the first half up to halftime. 
at which point Golden State had 73 points. I told you that Oklahoma City plays little to no defense, and especially in the first half, they played none. It's a mismatch to me. No, they ain't going to get outscored by 29 points on most night. Not Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, but they need to play better defense, no doubt about that. Uh, I, I, listen, I'm not happy with what I saw from the Thunder. I'll leave it at that. All right, but the Warriors still reign supreme, and we're going to take it up a notch just like they yep. do because look who's here. He needs no introduction teaching the young.